Deputy Pope is here to let us know what we can expect <laughs> this work week. Oh, definitely, Kenny. It was a much better day out there today. Soaking range yesterday. We had sunshine today, a gorgeous afternoon, and a perfect day for a special event at Samaritan Ministries. So today was Samaritan Ministries Volunteer Appreciation Day. So I've got some photos I want to share with you from today's event. You can see the staff there of Samaritan Ministries definitely out there to greet about 40 cars drive through event today for volunteers volunteers and yes there are many volunteers they have provided about 1500 meals in their soup kitchen last year those volunteers work in almost 25,000 hours that's equal to 13 full staff members right so we definitely love our volunteers and today they got to drive through you're looking at some of them there we do appreciate you at Samaritan Ministries of course we're getting close to thinking about the penny campaign again that is coming up here in the fall and of course I'll be helping out with that again so thank you to all the volunteers with Samaritan Ministries if you would like to volunteer with Samaritan Ministries you can go to SamaritanForsyth.org and you can sign up they especially need volunteers in their soup kitchen because just like today it was a drive-through event the soup kitchen is kind of a to-go event so you're providing to-go meals for folks that are hungry in our community yeah it was nice to have a dry day out there and look at this we've got more dry days ahead of us Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday all look like they're gonna be dry and when you consider what we've been yesterday look at the rainfall easily over a half of an inch in some of our triad communities some of the other rain reports in Mount Airy about three quarters of an inch closer to an inch of rain fell in Stanleyville yesterday and we saw just over a half of an inch in places like Lawsonville North Wilkesboro in the Yadkin County area and Moxville with just over three quarters of an inch of rain and it'd been about almost 10 days since we'd had our last real rain so we needed it I just don't necessarily want it to come on the weekend do we today in the overnight we had a little bit of rain we're still below normal for the month of April by about an inch and a half we're still above normal for the year by about three inches now our temperatures are a little closer to normal out there today after being in the 50s yesterday we had high of 69 they're gonna shoot way up this week our temps right now are in the 50s and 60s across the area we're we're going to have some 80s on our seven day. With temps in the mid 60s, we've got a northwest wind out there, so that does make it feel a little bit cooler. Moving at about 10 miles an hour or so. There is a front that's going to try to drop in here, but don't think it's going to quite make it in here because the heat is really going to be building in the coming days. A big ridge of high pressure, which provides us with lots of sunshine in our forecast. So it's a little chilly tomorrow morning at 44. Your 12 hour forecast, though, takes us up into the mid 70s. 70s by tomorrow afternoon in the Piedmont. For the foothills, the temperatures start around 40. A little cool, but pleasant in the afternoon with a high of about 73 late Monday afternoon. Loads of sun in the mountain forecast too. Starts off in the upper 30s. We'll work our way into the upper 60s by late tomorrow. And then this is a preview of what is headed our way. Some 80s for highs starting Tuesday. And then I'm gonna just call it hot on the seven day forecast mid 80s this time of year in the forecast for both Wednesday and Thursday and you can see where that heat is coming from and the next weather system that brings us rain is way out there to the west as well so we'll have plenty of time to wait for that so the seven day forecast will show you lots of sun and heat early on a little breezy here and there and it won't be terribly humid so that's nice it does get a little bit more humid Wednesday and Thursday and then we will squeeze out a few showers it looks like Friday we'll be back to some comfortable temperatures into next weekend that's not a bad looking seven day